Uh, we're at the Evolution uh, XL Gym in England. I don't know what the place is called, St. Helen, I believe. <laughs> so uh, we're here training with Tom Espinal. Well, I've been training with Rico now for about three years. He, he, even though I've known him longer, we've been training together for probably about three, four years now. Uh, I've had a lot of trips to Holland to train with him. He's coming here now as well, so... Um, on this wall! Come on! With Rico, it's not just his skill that inspires me, it's his mindset towards the game that inspires me as well. It's not just, oh yeah, he does this well, he got a good jab, whatever, I need to get a good jab. It's not, it's not like that, it's his overall approach to fighting is what I try and take from him. The benefits for me training with Tom is that it, it's different, his whole style is different, his stance is different, his movement is different, so it's, it's a little bit awkward for me. Uh, but it's good to have guys like that to train with because or else it's so straight lined in kickboxing so it's just good for the to mi for the mix up since i met rico i've known rico quite a long time now maybe like six seven years since i first met rico i realized that's what i need to try and be like so for me he's like a role model inside and outside of the ring inside and outside of the gym and yeah, I'm just trying to be the MMA's version of Rico. Tom is like, like a sponge. He just puts himself out there. Doesn't matter how good he is, he's always open and eager to learn. So I love that about him. I think Tom would be a great kickboxer as well. And if he would be, uh, he transitioned from MMA to kickboxing, he would definitely be in the top. Rico's super smart, super smart in his, in his approach to fight, in his fight, his fights, his fight IQ, and that's what I'm trying to be. I'm just trying to be exactly like him, but MMA. I'm excited to be in the eight-man tournament because it's new, it's good for the fans, because it brings a new form and a new vibe of excitement, because you're gonna fight three times in one night, in best case scenario. You're gonna fight different guys, and that just brings a whole another level of expectations, of energy and excitement for the for the fans. I think the, the main thing that stands out to me, kickboxing heavyweights in glory especially, is the guys are just massive. They're just massive guys, um, a lot bigger than the MMA guys. And I like to watch big guys throw down. That's what I like to watch. As fighters, it's just, it's hard. Because you fight, you cool down, you warm up, you fight, you cool down, you warm up, and you fight again. So that's just, that's just hard. Like I said, injury-wise, it's, it's, it's on another level. And not always the best guy wins. First of all, I think Rico's absolutely insane. So let me start by saying that, that is crazy. If I was him, I would be like, I'm not doing that, that's for the up and coming guys. But it just shows with the mindset that Rico's got is like, this guy still wants to prove that he's the best. Even after like years and years of being on top, the guy's still like, right, if it's gonna take three fights in one night just to prove it, I'm gonna do it. And you gotta respect him for that, like fair play. So what would the tournament mean for my legacy? I think, yeah, maybe this, this would be the, the cherry on the cake. Like then we literally done it all. It's just like to really finish it off. I don't know if you guys see this, but there's a lot of champions in here right now. We got a champ right here. We got another champ right here. Hello. We got a future champ right there. Let's get Hello. it. Only the best of the best. We've worked together now for approximately 13 years. Uh, Dennis is a great friend of mine and uh, we do a lot on the boxing side with uh, Rico. So uh, yeah, worked together uh, for a long time now. Uh, we have 
For me, being here is like my second family. It's my family away from home. Amazing, amazing to have a, a trainer next to you with this kind of experience, this kind of heart for your own fighter, like if it's his own son. Yeah, this was a game changer in whole our system. Rico was always a talent and he did many things good, but putting the jab on the, on the way we do it now, together on his skill set, made a major change in, uh, in his uh, skill set. Listen, first and foremost, we're super proud of him and Dennis. You know, unbelievable. You know, so uh, words can't put it into explanation how we feel about it. So it's just brilliant. It's what, it's what we do the sport for, you know. And to yeah. have a champion like this, yeah. who's so long at the top, yeah. you know, is, listen, it's what uh, dreams are made of. I think what I gain most from Peter Fury is the ability to, to keep moving, to keep moving and look at martial arts as fighting as a thinking man's game and not as a fighting game. Because a fighting game is like, it's a 50-50, it's a coin flip. No, no, it's gonna be head or tails, so. It started with the jab. But the footwork, the, pos the, the boxing, boxing on a huge level is all about finesse. This is what Peter gave to us. The, the, the finesse from small movements to positioning, but also the spirit because there's a spirit here in the gym. It's like there's no complaining and it's a rough English style. You know, Manchester, Liverpool area, rough style also. This combination gave the, the spirit we have already like a team. Make this brilliant. Uh, you know, we just, uh, we work away and uh, yeah, there's quite a few things, but he's, uh, he's developed and been developed over the years. And there's a lot of stuff the naked eye don't see. It's about the, the where you put the feet, the movement, offsetting the opponent, where you know they can't throw punches. You see some of Rico's fights with the opponent thinking, hang on a minute, this guy was explosive. Now he's with Rico, he's not explosive. What's going on? Because you can't hit what you can't hit. So this is the skill set. I think he's gonna win and he'll win in style and he'll do what he's done in the previous tournament. I think uh, you know, but look, this is the heavyweight division. Things can happen, injuries can happen, anything can go wrong, yeah? yeah? With me looking at it, I think he's going to be fine. Beautiful. It's all about preparation, thinking ahead, yeah. this is the key.